Hello, 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 my fabulous dream chasers, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be playing the second game in the Freddy Fish series, Freddy Fish and the Haunted Schoolhouse. <coughs> Sorry, the case of the Haunted Schoolhouse. So, story reset, and here we go. Good morning, Mr. Krabby. She scared him. Jeez, Krabby. Sorry I'm late, Freddy. I just had to find my codfish commando action figure for show and tell. That's okay, Luther, but we better get going before we're late for school. And within the span of two years, they really upped their game on the animation style. Because the first game was made in 1994, and this one was made in 1996. The schoolhouse is over here! I mean, those could just be the United States, but you know. But they did make the animation style better. Alright. So, you want to hear a song? Let's hear a song. Freddy, did you bring everything you need for school? Of course I did, Lopa. In fact, I'm ready for a great day! And I hope you are too! <laughs> I've had my breakfast. I've got my books. Comb my bin. Check out my looks. Ready for learning. And to have some fun. Heading off to school. Our day's begun. Yes, Luther thinks he's very, very handsome. Or glamorous or whatever. And I didn't know fish comb their fins. Um, I feel like that would hurt. Just having some scratch along your fins, that would hurt. I'll race you to school, Freddy! Where are all the guppies? We're hiding! The guppies say the school is haunted by a ghost, and that the ghost is stealing their toys. I saw the ghost, Mrs. Croker. It stupefied me with fear, and then it stole my toy! Oh! Ah! Oh, that... Hey, that's my toy! Oh! Uh-oh. That couldn't have been real. There's no such thing as ghosts. Luther and I will find that so-called ghost and get back all the toys. Good luck, Freddy. And, uh, Mrs. Croker is kind of a unusual name for a school teacher. But, you know, she's caring and loving and beautiful, so we won't judge her by her last name. Because judging people is wrong. Alright. And over here we can draw... It doesn't really work that well on the iPad though. All I can do is make dots. Because if you click and drag, or tap and drag, then it doesn't draw a line. It just moves, moves it around. I mean, we could spell something with the letters. R E Wait, what? R E
B. For the baby buggy or are normal things <laughs> that you basically basically have to get every time or sometimes I have to get a bowling ball I believe so um yeah, so Luther, I hear someone coming I thought I heard something in here yeah I thought I heard something in here what are you Echo? 
Yep, so if you just sit around for too long, then, um, they come back <laughs> and look around. Um, but those voices sound familiar, don't they? Hmm. Let's go back up, because I think I saw something that we might need. Might, because I don't know if we're going to need it this round. Oh, yep. You just never know when a pair of plastic coated safety scissors will come in handy. That is so true, Freddy. So true. This way, this way, or this way. So first, I think we're gonna go this, this way. This is the way to the old ruin. Uh oh, he looks like he's in trouble. Hi, Casey. What happened? I got so excited reading Scientific Aquarium magazine that my eyes bugged out and knocked the glasses. Clean off my face! I think I heard my glasses clatter down this hole. Oh, what will become of me without my glasses? Oh. Knock it off, Casey. You're making a spectacle of yourself. Get it? <laughs> glasses? Spectacle? Oh. Luther just trying to make jokes and Freddy's like, no, that's not okay. <laughs> um, poor Casey. Alright, let's see. Let's go get his glasses. For I'll him. get your glasses for you, Casey. Ah! I'm not going to fit in that hole. Perhaps someone younger, smaller, greener. Oh, you mean me? <laughs> sure, why not? There they are. Hot dog. Meat spec. Right. So. We don't usually get to play as just Luther very often. Just in like Freddy and Lucer Luther's Waterworks or this game or the fifth game. Those are like the only games where you can play as Luther by himself. Here are your glasses, Casey. Luther, as my way of saying things, I'd like to give you something that I built myself. It's a fusion power, super elastic, repeating slingshot, complete with bullseye seeking, super sneaky turbo rocks, and racing stripes. Would you uh, just Dang. hold on to this for me, Freddy? Sure thing, Luther. Oh, that was good. Luther couldn't pull it out of the ground and Freddy did it l just like that with no problem at all. Oh, that was good. Um. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, excuse me. So, if you heard any chewing or crunching in the background, I apologize. I was in the middle of eating dinner when I decided to start this. So, oh look, it's a pipe. That pipe could be useful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I always wondered how it'd feel to get your head caught in a pipe, and now I know it feels bad. Oh. 
Could you lend a fin to get this thing off my head? We'll try, Tucker. Oh, Luther, give it all you've got. This is all I've got. Oh, no. So we're going to have to find something to slip Tucker's head out of that Tucker pipe. will help you as soon as we can. Poor Tucker, he's so sad. So usually, um, or when you play and you have to get the trident, it'll be right here in this guy's hand. And you have to finish a slider puzzle in order to do it. Or to get it. Um... I don't particularly like slider puzzles. They're kind of just a real pain. We should try another tile. Uh. Oh, I got it! Wow. Um. But the slider puzzles I've played are more advanced than that one. So, that one was really easy. Um. Yeah. Oh, look, a worm doodle. Mmm. Chocolate covered worm doodles. My favorite. Luther, no! You'll get hooked! Hooked on junk food? No, I mean there's a fishing hook stuck into that worm doodle. Freddy, you saved my life. What could I ever do to repay you? Stop overacting. <laughs> so, the way we get this is we use the scissors on the fishing hook. If we line. use our fins to take the worm doodle off the fishing hook, we could get hurt. I'll bet these scissors will do the trick. There we go. Luther, we need to save the rest for later. I guess you're right, Freddy. Yep. Alright. So I think that was all we could do over there. Alright, so. We'll help you as soon as we can, Tucker. I am so sorry. Okay. So. Um. Let's go down here again. And see if we can go to the other side. <coughs> this side. Because we, we went that way. We went over to the left. Oh, jeez. Boy, I bet that hurt all them zigzags. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright, so. Let's go... Hmm. This way. Oh look, it's Bray! Hey, hey Bray. kids, don't go taking any wooden urchins. Eh, aren't you kids supposed to be in school today? You see, we're trying to get the things. The things to build a trap to get the ghost, you know? The one that's uh, haunting the schoolhouse? Sorry I asked. <laughs> oh, I love this game. It's so cool. It's so good. An octopus fought a super duper duka booka poly gizmo. That was not such a smart thing, don't you know? So the super duper duka buka polygizmo was in the first game. And we had to use it to open up a fishing net to get a pearl from a clam. So that's what he was talking about there. Okay, so. Uh, well, we need a pulley, so we might as well go to the pulley emporium. And if you click on these different pulleys here, 
then the octopus here will tell you stories about each one. Hey, Barnacle Bob, is this pulley for sale? These pulleys here I won't ever sell. I just keep them around so I have stories to tell. Hey, Barnacle Bob, tell us about that pulley. The Flying Dutchman's captain found true love, you see, and had no need to sail no more, so he sold me this here pulley. You, you done? You, you, you done, Barnacle Bob? I think it's stuck. There we go. All I had to do was press the, press the skip button. I'll bet there's a neat story behind that pulley. It's from the schooner Hesperus that sailed the wintry sea. The skipper had taken his daughter along and she stole this here pulley to me. There you go. That looks like an interesting pulley. This pulley come down to the sea, my friends, to the lonely sea from the sky, from the port bow of a tall ship that sailed from Paraguay. Paraguay. I don't know where that is. We're here to buy a pullet. A pullet? Forgive me for looking a wee bit stricken, but you said you needed a small female chicken? Luther, I think you meant to say pulley, not pullet. Oops, silly me. <laughs> this pulley's for sale, and she's mighty nice. Five sea urchins, that's my asking price. Alright, so it looks like we need to find five purple sea urchins. Oh, jeez. Wait, how are there birds underwater? That's not right. <laughs> well, there was a dogfish in the last game, so I can't really complain. The movies. The theater looks packed. Let's see all the things that are playing. This one's Codzilla. Okay then. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, Codfish Commander. Codfish Commando. Action, adventure, and home baked pie. Oh my. That one confuses me. You gotta have them. Mmm, mmm, worm doodle. Ooh, worm doodle. Squishy, squashy worm doodle. In all your favorite flavors. Original, chocolate, sea cucumber, lemon, orange, red, and new fat free. Grab them, cause you gotta have them. Oh boy, Luther's favorite. Whoop, cowboy stand off. Hmm. 
I don't know what the huge fish at the end was all about, but okay. The krill sequence. <laughs> Whoops! Guess I need to be more careful. Fish Gordon. <laughs> Chumlet instead of Hamlet. <laughs> that doesn't happen in Hamlet, though. Ouch. Oh, look, it's our friend Spy Fox. We're gonna be playing his games. Um, a while later. Because after Freddy Fish, it'll be Pajama Sam and then Spy Fox. Garzan instead of Tarzan. I bet that hurt. I did not say that one. I know the first word was Todd. Is he trying to get through the hole without getting hurt? Or not? Okay. Alright then. That one was very short. I think we're almost done here. Curse of the Sardine. <laughs> Instead of Curse of the Mummy. <laughs> okay! And that was the last one, so let's go. Oh boy, the Hall of Fame! Let's see what's in here. Um, this looks awfully familiar. That bottle looks awfully familiar. Yes, it sure does. <laughs> and there's golden shoes. I don't know why fish need shoes. So, we've explored everything that way. We need to find some purple sea urchins soon. So let's go this way. Looks like. Submarine is this way. Whoops, submarine. Oh, look, purple sea urchin. Just what I was looking for. Caught the sea urchin over here, Luther. All right, now we got one. We need four more. That mysterious ghost sure has the guppy scared. And me too, Freddy. I didn't even click on you guys to say anything. Okay then. So let's check out. Submarine first. And I guess you, I bet you can't guess what this fish, what type of fish he is. Boy, Captain Schnitzel, how's the submarine? It's going nowhere fast, <laughs> but that's okay. It gives me time to sing my sea ditty. A fish is a creature that lives in the sea. It's charming and handsome. It's egg like me. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Hey, nanny, nanny, and a hot cha cha. Nice sea, Daddy Captain Schnitzel. 
Alright. Let's see what's in this amount. There's a wheel. Oh look, some oil. We need that. Hey Freddy! It looks like we struck oil! Non-toxic biodegradable oil to be exact. So how do you like it? I call it the wet look. Just toss the oil over oh here. <laughs> oh, Luther, we love you, buddy. Oh, look, a wheel. We need Look that. on the captain! Full speed ahead! Whoa! 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 Oops! <laughs> Ooh. Are you okay, Luther? Luther, are you okay? I'll be okay. Just feeling a little buggy right now. Luther, I think you hit on something. Yes, unfortunately, it was something very hard. Oh, no. That wheel will be perfect for a trap. <laughs> Luther, we'll need to find a way to loosen this bolt so we can get the wheel. All right, so we need a wrench, it seems like. This rope. May we have that rope for our trap, Captain Schnitzel? Yeah, you can take it if you can untie it. Even I have never been able to untie that verschlucken or not. <laughs> hmm. Keepers? Who'd have thought that untying a rope could. Oops. That knot is gonna be hard to untie. It looks like we need to find a book on knots. Now let's check out this cave. Oh! It's, uh, it's Eddie the Eel. Look, it's the light preserver that we need for our trap. Nobody but nobody gets past Eddie the Eel. Sir, we really need that life preserver. It's not mine, but you still can't get past me. I'm in a bad mood because I missed lunch. And you ain't improving things any. Better skedaddle or I might just eat you. And toss down your little green pal for dessert. Well, yikes. Living underwater is what bugs me the most. You wake up in the morning with soggy toast, and the frying pan never really gets that hot. I can't keep the lid on my cooking pot. So, do we have anything to eat to give Eddie? Um, I think we do. We got the worm doodle. Here's your chance to do a good deed and feed a hungry fellow sea creature. You mean give up my worm doodle? My very favorite thing in the whole wide world? Mm -hmm. Come on, Luther. Do it for Eddie. And for the life preserver. Ah, oh, well, my duty is clear. Wow! I'm getting a major league sugar rush. See you guys later. Luther, that was very noble. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I do noble pretty well, don't I? Oh, boy. Oh, Luther. Now... This life preserver is just what we need to build our trap. We need to get four more things to make our trap. All right. <coughs> so. Let's go check out another area. 
You know what? Actually, we have oil, and we can use that to get poor Tucker. The pity is over here. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. This is the way to the old ruins. Alright, over here. Don't worry, Tucker. We're, we'll save you. A drop of oil might do the trick. Oh no! We no, took his head didn't. off! We must be yanked it clean off! It's not in here! Poor Tucker! I hope he gets a head light, because he sure doesn't have one now. Sure oh. I do! It was just stuck in my shell. Whew! Are we glad you're okay? Thanks to you kids! Alright, we got him unstuck! Now we got a pipe. Sure, what we're gonna need a pipe for? Um, let's go find out. Right, we'll see if we can put a pipe in there. The tide pools are up here. We haven't been this way to the tide pools. Oh, another purple sea urchin. See an urchin, pick it up, and all the day you'll have good luck. Basically, like a penny. So. so, we're just jumping across here to get over to the other side. Hooray! We made it to the other side! Alright. Oh, look, another one! Ahoy, Luther! Here, turn off the starboard bow! Oh look, another purple sea urchin. Look, Luther, a purple sea urchin. Gee, how'd it get way up there? Oh, well, close. Oh, I can't jump high enough to get it. to use to get the purple sea urchin down is the slingshot with bullseye Here, Luther. aiming. Why don't you try your slingshot? Great idea! I've been waiting for the chance to test it! Alright. Right there. Got it! Got it! Good work, Luther! Alright! Okay, so let's check out over here. Watch out for the crab invaders! Don't oh. let them get past me! What's the matter? Feeling crabby today? Crab invaders and space invaders. <laughs> 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 Fun. 
but we need to keep finding things for our trap. So far, we've only gotten one thing. How you doing, Luther? Other than being scared about that ghost. Yeah. Hey kids, what do fish use for money? I think I know this one. Sand dollars. I thought so. <laughs> well, hush my fish lips and call me a trout. Living underwater is what it's all about. You know, some folks prefer the land way up there. But me, <laughs> I can't take all that dry air. So he didn't really sing, uh, sing, he just talked while playing the guitar, which is okay because some artists do, um, occasionally do that, um, and some artists just talk instead of sing, um, it's just easier for them. And then some people can talk, like, can make it sound like they're singing when they talk. Right. So let's go back to the schoolhouse and see if we missed anything. I actually want to check out that entrance. Or that room down here that the sharks came out of. Can we put the life preserver in place? It's a life pres it's a life preserver we need. Nope. Oh look, another purple sea urchin. What luck! We found another purple sea urchin! Now we got all five for our pulley. Oh look! Hey, it's a book about untying knots. That's Luther, good. This will help that. us untie Captain Schnitzel's rope. Yes, it will. And down here, we got a wrench. Great! We found a wrench! Hey! We can get this cork to build our truck! Whoa! You're filling the compartment with air! Whew. Just pulling out the cork is definitely not going to work. Yeah, we need to put this pipe into place. Come on. This pipe would fit great where that cork is. I don't know, Freddy. It looks kind of small. Jump in, jellyfish. It works. I told you it would fit. Now we need three more things to make our ghost track. And man, is our inventory full. Go get the other things. I love how Luther's like, I think it's too small. And then Freddy fits it in. He's like, and then Luther's like, I knew it would fit. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> He's just a cheesy little fish. Uh, oh. If you guys don't stop nosing around the schoolhouse, the ghost will turn you into a couple of fish sticks. Uh -huh. I'm no jellyfish. You can't scare me. However, you can scare me. Well, don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> So, 
You, re you guys recognize those sharks, right? They're from the first game. They're the ones who had stolen the kelp seed tre treasure from their squid father. Alright, so let's go into town and get our pulley. All these electronic things work underwater. Well, I guess it is just a game, so. Yeah. It's game logic. Alright, one pulley, please. There's one there, Jim Barnacle Bob. Here's two there, Jim Barnacle Bob. Here's three there, Jim Barnacle Bob. Here's four sea urchins, Barnacle Bob. This is the last sea urchin we have. Thanks a lot, Barnacle Bob. Hey, thanks, but I needn't or even expecting. Just keep up your interest in pulley collecting. Two more things and we'll have everything we need to build our ghost trap. Well, we're not pulley collectors. We just need it for our trap. So. Yeah. Alright, let's go get the other things we need. We need that wheel out of the submarine, and we need that rope. From the anchor to the submarine. The submarine is this way. So. We are almost done with the game. After getting these two more things, we'll be all done. So, let's get the wheel first. Because I want the rope to be like the finale or whatever you want to Try this, it. Luther! Try this, Luther! Oh. He like... We did it! it. There's only one more thing we need to build our trap. Luther, why are you scared? You were having fun in here earlier. He looked so scared. And there's the squid father. <laughs> yes, squid father. We know you never had a toy in your whole life, but... But we can't get you any until the kids are out of the classroom. <laughs> well, the kids haven't left yet because of that Freddy Fish. <laughs> yes, Squid Father. No more excuses. We'll do what we gotta do. Uh, boss, uh, just what do we gotta do, huh? We gotta get rid of those kids! Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, so. Last thing we need is the rope. We're on the right track. Keep going like this and the rope will be untied in no time. The knot's getting looser. Yay! We got it. Let's go catch that pulse. Uh, I don't think ropes untie like that. We're ready to make our trap, Luther. So from here on out, we just watch. That's just about everything. Luther, can we use your toy as bait? Well, okay. Our trap is complete. Someone's coming. <laughs> hey, boss, look! A toy! Let's grab it! Now, Luther! Now, we'll get to see who the culprit is. Three, two, one. Hey! Ta-da! It's free! 
ready fish! And Luther! Oh no, I did the countdown there. And the culprit is... The sharks! Yikes. How could you two scare the poor little guppies and steal their toy? The squid father told us to, cause he never had any. Oh, you should know that you can't just take things that belong to someone else. Uh, uh, you know, she just might have a point there, boss. Okay, you can give back the toy. The Squid Father doesn't need the toys as much as the coffee. Here, give this to the Squid Father. He should have at least one toy. Come on, Luther. Let's take these toys back to the guppy. That was a nice thing that Luther did. Look what we you found! found the guppy toys! Hip hip hooray! We solved the mystery, Mrs. Croker! There wasn't really a ghost haunting the school. It was just those sharks pretending to be a ghost. Congratulations! You saved the school! Alright, we saved the school! We did it! As far as my favorite Freddy Fish game, Freddy um, with you here, we'll try our best with thing and I dance, and think. swim all around. When you're here, we, uh, we never frown. I mean, I do like this game, but I think that number four or number be. five. We love to swim to and brush up. But if you're a fish, there's cool never around. One of them, I just can't choose. Um, number three is kind of interesting, actually. So, when no way but it's not my favorite. This game is pretty good, but I think they could have put like a little bit more in it, so it wasn't so short. I love to teach guppies to explore. And yesterday we went to the first the shore. game. We swam close to That's the always beach. going to be on dry land one of the best. Reach. Um, it's just difficult when you kind of have a lot of the same best. scenarios. When um, but it's still a good game. So. That's it for Freddy Fish. Are you sure you want to stop playing with us? See you next time. Of the Haunted Schoolhouse. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, suggest other games you would like me to play, and I will see you next time in Freddy Fish 3. I love you, Dream Chasers.